for me, I've been very lucky. Within sort of eight months of taking on the sport, I was ranked number three in the world. And then 2012, at my first uh, Paralympic Games, medal there, and then it just went from there. This will be my third Paralympic Games. I think one of the biggest goals that I've got is to uh, represent the green and gold at my best ability. I'm sort of not focusing on the actual the final. I think um, that's a mistake that a lot of people do. There's a lot of stuff you've got to do before you even make a final. Every single member of the Australian Paralympic team I look up to because I know how, how hard it's been for me and their journey's been exactly the same because we've all worked and sacrificed so much. But just actually going, putting on that Zooty, the green and gold, it does make it, it worth it. I think it's one of the things that uh, people forget um, the true meaning of that Australian uniform, that how much work it goes into to actually being able to get that. And it's, it's an honour to, to be able to put that on and sit at a start line and hear your name being called out. I think it's one of the, the one things that people don't realise that sensation that you get when you actually hear that. Or I've been very lucky and the podium wise as well, is hearing them call out my name, gold medal, world champion and seeing the flag raised is, I mean it brings tears to your eyes.